Hi there, my name is Dave Cormier. I'm the facilitator for ED366, and I thought I might do a quick introductory video. I've been trying to figure out exactly how to pull one sort of three or four minute video together to give you a sense of what the whole course is like, and I really don't think I'm gonna get that done, because to me it's about a lot of things, and a lot of that course is really about sort of the learners who are engaged in it with the, the community as a whole. So I thought maybe what we do is take a look at some of the articles and some of the notes and stuff that I've been looking at preparing for the course and talk a little bit about why I think they're important. This is a, a quote from Bruno Latour and it really sort of encapsulates the things that I look for from a learning experience. When we talk about educational technology and we talk about learning, I think that very much what we're trying to do for our students is set up a place, a scenario, a context, a way of learning that allows them to be able to make decisions, not only decisions in the class, but to prepare them to deal with uncertainty in the future where these topics. So for those of you who are practicing educators now, when you go back to whatever scenario you're gonna be working in, decisions about educational technology are constantly fraught with uncertainty. The technology is different, it changes, it, sometimes it works, there's all kinds of stuff. So being effective with it is more about being prepared to deal with those scenarios than it is about having the perfect way of doing something. And as this quote sort of suggests, I don't believe there's a perfect way to do a lot of this stuff. So the world is not a solid continent of facts sprinkled by a few lakes of uncertainties, but a vast ocean of uncertainties speckled by a few islands of calibrated and stabilized form. So, you know, we're going to deal with a lot of different things, a lot of different topics, a lot of different ideas. And I'd be perfectly happy if some of you come up with completely different positions or ideas or ways of doing things. That's what this course is all about. This is an article um, from uh, Alberta's sort of public school system. And the important piece from this article that I wanna talk about is where they talk about digital natives as opposed to older people not getting the technology. I don't believe any of it. I don't believe that there's any difference in age between people's ability to find technology or to use it well. Um, I work with any number of people who, of all ages, and there doesn't seem to be any relationship, and certainly the evidence and the research doesn't support it either. Uh, I think what you do find is some people have done it more often and some people haven't. And when you dig in a little bit deeper with, in terms of the younger students, they have one narrow band of maybe effective use of technologies, maybe they're very good Facebook users, but more broadly, they don't necessarily have those things. The most important thing in any situation is that you know how to work, you know how to organize, those are the real skills. And just having those, I think, is gonna make you successful in this course. This is also not a course that starts from the position that technology is perfect. And this is from a New York Times article by Sher Turkle, who's a very well-known um, writer on education, on, on technology issues. And this talks about how we've really turned back from conversation or from her position that the technology takes over and we're never alone anymore and we don't have long conversations and everybody's always staring at their cell phones. And I think that there's, there's a valid position there that needs to be addressed. So we're also not a course about uh, sing-songy technology is beautiful either. It's something that we'll engage with as well. This is my blog. It happens to be a blog post of, in response to that very article. So I take the technology and the usage of those technologies really seriously, and I engage in some of those discussions. So this is um, a way that you'll be seeing my blog, my blog during the course. I'll be blogging to you. You can blog back to me and we'll have sort of an ongoing conversation because I think the conversation is really where a lot of the learning is. We'll also be talking about tools. This is Moodle. It's a learning content management system. Uh, you may use another one, but we'll talk generally about how those can be important and how they can get in the way. This is another random tool. We'll talk about a lot of different effective things, not specifically. It won't be today is the Evernote day, but a lot of them will come up in our discussions. And, and I think you'll pick up a lot about different tools and that stuff sort of by the by as the course progresses. And, and maybe even some stuff a little bit out of the way that you wouldn't normally think of as part of an education course. This is about uh, online sales and how that works out and how the technology is important there. A lot of us have really complicated educational lives and sometimes these kinds of things can be important too. We'll also look a little bit into sort of learning theory. MOOCs are, um, it stands for Massive Open Online Course. It's something I've done a lot of work in and openness in education is something that I'm very passionate about. 
it may be something that you tire of hearing about as the course goes on, but it is something that the technology really does provide the opportunity for, and there are some real advantages to doing things that way that we'll talk about. And again, I'm not asking anybody to take my position, but just to engage with the ideas. And I think this is something that, that we'll have an interesting time talking about too. And this is maybe a little bit more out on the, on the learning theory sort of end of it. And it talks a little bit to the conference I was at last week and a theory that, that I've sort of engaged with. And maybe we'll be able to bring in one of my colleagues to talk about this directly. Um, but it's about how we don't always have to use the technology. We don't always have to be fully engaged and, and we're not always learning wide open, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. So we'll engage in the different ways in which we talk about learning. So sometimes the sort of andragogical approaches are appropriate and sometimes the pedagogical approaches are appropriate and they're all different and they're all unique. And I think that, uh, I think that's going to be a key message on the way through the course. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, I love teaching this course. It's, uh, it's always a highlight whenever I get a chance to, uh, to facilitate it. And I hope that you guys will be a big part of that as well. So I look forward to it. We're starting on the 9th of May and hopefully I'll get a couple more of these out before the course starts. Cheers.